I think that um, I, in the morning of, I think, um, Wednesday, or the Wednesday, yeah, I had an opportunity to speak to this matter on Super Morning Show Joy. Prof, forgive me. Let me acknowledge the presence of Associate Professor of Accounting and Finance um, and also a member of the NDC Finance and, and uh, Economic Committee, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, Professor, uh, that's Khalid. Thank you, Prof. Thank right. you for, for coming. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to have you. Yes, Prof. All okay. right, so I, I was a bit um, quite surprised that um, the Americans say, if, it's, if it ain't broken, you don't fix it. So I kept asking myself, what, what was the problem? Um, because over the years, uh, we've always not had these directives restricting um, media houses to, um, and media coverage at district and regional coalition centers. So what, what was this directive seeking to achieve? But of course, um, the Electoral Commission has also come out to explain its side mm -hmm. of, the, of, the, of the story. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I think the explanations also make, make some sense. Mm -hmm. But the point is that it's important the Electoral Commission appreciates and understands the terrain in which it is operating. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's operating in an atmosphere of utmost distrust. And so if people do not trust you, you must approach some of these initiatives with some caution and trepidation. Um, rather than acting and later coming to consult, I would advise them to consult and act so that there wouldn't be backlash. Okay, nothing um, prevented the Electoral Commission to dialogue okay with the various media houses and media practitioners yeah. about its decision look um, we have district coalition centers we have um, regional coalition centers and we're going to have a national coalition center and the national coalition center all of you guys can come there but at the district coalition centers um the centers the rooms may be small at the regional coalition centers the rooms may be small and we don't want um stampede and all there should have been dialogue about this and mm -hmm. um, give and take media practitioners some of them would understand some of them may disagree they should but at the end of the day, you would have had some consensus. So that once this decision is communicated or announced out there, you didn't have a backlash. But as it stands now, the decision was taken and then people had to react the way they did to force the Electoral Commission um, to now um, take the decision that we're going to um, hold it on and to consult. I think that um, the first thing that could have been done was that was to have for them to have consulted first and once again i want to advise them that um, they are operating in an atmosphere of utmost distrust and so even if you mean well your good intention people would want to read other ulterior motives into it and it is up to you to appreciate um, this environment so that you approach some of um, well-intentioned initiatives you may have with some caution and trepidation. And I would also advise them, it's not a matter of, yes, I mean, to be competent, you yourself must uh, examine whatever you are doing with the view to perfecting what you do. And so in the process of going this route, you may be able to identify challenges within your own administration, with your, within your own um, practices and within your own activities. And then the idea is, yes, once you identify the challenges, um, um, you try to address them. And so you see the Electoral Commission is now often saying that, well, we identify these things ourselves. We identify these things ourselves, which is good. But we should also note that, you see, when it comes to election, Okay, elections in Africa have been the result of several implosions. People have lost their lives, states have collapsed, people have been maimed, and all that because of elections. And so 
even though it is good that the electoral commission must work to be identifying its own flaws and be working on them as much as possible mm. the idea of efficiency must drive them into telling themselves that look we do not even want to have any problems um, to be identifying mm. and to be addressing okay so they should work on themselves so much so that they reduce some of these things that they themselves tend to on F. Otherwise, then people will continue to um, charge them or make, um, uh, make the claims against them that, look, they have something um, that they want to, to be hiding. But mm. it may not be the case. And I commend the political parties, especially the NDC, for their continuous vigilance, okay? Um, um, whatever the case may be, with, with vigilance and your preparedness to look into things and to ensure that you don't sleep over over um, over your your duty i think that you don't check your responsibility and all that i think that nothing on toward can be happen in a manner that would um destroy um, a party's electoral fortunes and so mm -hmm. they should continue to be vigilant i would urge the electoral commission to also work such that where you have to consult before major decisions are taken you consult first it is not nice to mm -hmm. take a decision and be forced to go and consult um, um, and afterwards. I, I think it is not too nice. So mm -hmm. that would be my advice to them.